Good afternoon. Today I will be talking about the no load consumption of uh, inverters. Uh, as I've said before, these are Velocity 5 kVA and 2.5 kVA inverter. But uh, I think the nature of uh, low frequency inverters are because they have transformer, they draw a lot of power from the battery. I have no problem with this draw during the day because I have so much solar panel on the roof. But my concern is during the night when these uh, inverters are running off the batteries. So I will start by turning on these inverters and uh, measuring to show you the power consumption without any load on the two inverters. So as you can see right now I have on the two inverters. Uh, this one is running on 12 volt battery bank and this one is running on the 48 volt battery bank. So I am going to be using this uh, multimeter uh, which I have there over here. I will be measuring the amperage, the amperage to as usual with the two IMS in the RMS meter I will have to zero it. So, clamp this one then you see this inverter without any load on it it is growing 3.92 amps and uh, the other one it's growing 1.88 1 1.87 amp and the battery voltage for this uh, larger inverter right now is uh, 54.4 so if you take this uh, battery voltage and multiply it by the amperage then you see this inverter on its own without doing anything it is consuming 102 uh, 102 watt and uh, the other one that is drawing uh, 3.94 3.94 and uh, the battery voltage on this uh, inverter is uh, you can see at uh, 13.5 so if I multiply it by by 13.5 you see this smaller one is consuming 53 watts on idle without any load on it uh, usually I run these inverters uh, at night should be from around 6 in the evening till uh, at 6 in the morning so we are looking at 12 hours so for the smaller one now if we say we have uh, uh, 53.19 watts as a sub consumption and if I multiply it by 12 hours you see I will be using 638 watt hours the inverter along with using this amount of power and uh, all this inverter, this inverter is run on these 200 amp hour batteries. These are gel batteries with the recommended uh, depth of discharge to be 50 percent. So I have 100, 100, which makes uh, uh, 200, 2,400 watt hour. So I'm only having a usable capacity of 1,200 watt hour. And uh, out of this 1,200 watt hour. The inverter is going to be using around 600 watt hour, so I will be only left with 600 watt hour. Uh, if you look at the other one, which is uh, consuming, uh, which is consuming say 100 watt, uh, this is run on uh, another gel battery. These are 120 amp hour batteries, and uh, if I say 120 by 48. Uh, which is 5760 watt hour if i'm to discharge it to 50 percent uh, so i will be having uh, sorry i will divide by two so i will be having 2880 watt usable capacity from my battery banks uh, so now if i say that uh, this inverter is doing 100 and out of this 100 we have two of hours so we are having 1200 watt hour so if I say 1200 watt hour divided by my usable capacity which is 2880 so the inverter alone would be using 41% of my usable capacity of the battery 
so you see this is uh, seriously insane during the day i can run this in butter but at night it's uh, nearly impossible because we'll be doing 50 50 with the inverter so recently i used this uh, inverter for a client uh, or a friend's installation uh, this is the same again felicity uh, low frequency inverter but this one is a smaller version which is 1.5 kb uh, what i like the most about this inverter is it has a very very uh, good or low uh, no load uh, power consumption i've seen in the manual that they rated it for 10 watt as for no load power consumption so when i see that i say okay let me find a solution for my battery bank uh, so what I did was I find, I buy this uh, inverter and uh, I went ahead and buy a DC DC converter of AliExpress. So this is a 48 to 13.5 13.8 volt DC DC converter. Uh, so I connected this to my battery bank and uh, the output of this DC DC converter I connected to two one to the, the what do you call it uh, to the car. DC output the other one to the the same input the same output I just split it into these two output this is an Anderson 50 amp connection so now if I uh, if I ever need to use this battery bank at night if I run low on my other two smaller batteries I just have to plug this uh, Anderson connector then I can use this inverter at night usually my load during the night is let down uh, 200 watt the uh, highest is 200 watt i usually form during the day i cook during the day so at night it's usually just a television and a fan and some led lights so if i turn on this uh, inverter you will see let me zero it uh, sorry DC, I will press and hold to zero it. So if I measure it now, you will see that this inverter is only consuming is uh, consuming only sorry uh, zero point seven seven uh, amp. So if you multiply zero point seven seven amp by the voltage of the battery, if I press and scroll on the inverter. You see the voltage of the battery is uh, 13.8 so if i multiply it by the amperage which is 0. Point, now 0. 0.82 so we'll be having somewhere around we will have somewhere around uh, 11 point uh, 11 point 31 so you see compared to the other this one is consuming 52 amps or uh, 52 watts the other one is 100 watt so this one will only be consuming 11 watt and i think this 11 watt is much much uh, uh, reasonable since my load my highest load will be around 200 and this dc dc converter is uh, this dc dc converter is capable of uh, 415 watt so i will just be running it at around 50 percent of its capacity uh, the less uh, measure the amperage from the source you see I'm doing I'm doing 0 0.14 amp at 54.4 uh, so if we carry 0 0.14 0 0.14 by 54.4 we are having like 7.614 maybe because the current is so much low uh, the meter is not capable of measuring it to accuracy but all in all we are looking at either 11 watt or 7.6 watt from this smaller inverter so you see with this one i will be if i carry if i assume 11 watt times 12 so i'll be using only 100 the inverter will be using only 132 watt uh, hour which is uh, like uh, if i divide by the capacity of my battery which is uh, 2880 then you see the inverter will be using only say 4.6 percent of my battery capacity compared to the other one that will be using around uh, 40 percent of the total usable capacity uh, thank you for watching my name is Hamidu Polki see you next time when i will be installing a 
new DMS to my uh, Felicity lithium-ion battery. Thank you very much for watching.